So one of these one of these students asks a question, not verbally, but they had to write their questions and pass it on to the front. So Mullah Hussein Ahmadani he got the question and he read it out. He read the question out. And the and the question it wasn't a question, it was actually a comment about Mullah Hussein Ahmadani, who's the teacher. He's the teacher. From one of his students here, this thing came in his lesson. And I don't know what people would do in this day and age if you read this thing. I'm going to read it out for you. All right? I'm about to read this out for you guys. It said that, he said, Monana Hussein Ahmed, he is worse than the tail of a dog. He is worse than the tail of a dog. Now we know dog has najasa in, in Islam and the tale of that how, how bad it is to describe and obviously this student is not someone who likes him students come from outside somewhere just studying there just to get his graduation but he's not really you know he's not he's not really giving any respect to Mullah Hussein Ahmad now you can imagine if that was anybody else what the what the reaction would be a charging a char let's find out who's writing this is huh Let's analyze it. Let's get every student to show the writing to match this, and we're going to kick that student out. Mona Hussein Ahmad never did that. You know what he did? He said, He said, Hussein Ahmad Qiyamat Kadim. He said, He addressed himself as Hussein Ahmad. He said, On the day of judgment, if Hussein Ahmad ends up in hellfire, then this is, this is not only true. But I'm going to say to you that Hussein Ahmad in that case is worse than the tail of a dog. Because the dog will be turned to dust on the day of judgment, but Hussein Ahmad will be in hellfire. So therefore Hussein Ahmad is worse than the dog and its tail. But if Hussein Ahmad goes to Jannah on the day of judgment, then Hussein Ahmad will be better than the dog and its tail and the tail of the dog. That's it. He closed it, left your side and, and, and carried on. Now, now look at the hikmah, look at the wisdom, look at the balance, look at the... There's no judgmental, you know, way. I'm telling you, look, when these youngsters come to us with their problems, they need to know something. We've got to have our own balance in check. If you've got our own balance in check, like I'm asking you youngsters, go to ulama, go to those who are broad-minded, who are not judgmental. Go and ask them your question. And